guys welcome to another episode of lbc stack so guys in today's example i'll teach you how you can uh, send data from parent to child component and display a iteration of components guys so guys in today's example i will be creating a search bar on the parent component and i will search account in that search bar and it will be sending the data to the child component and from the child component we will be printing the account name and phone number okay but while we'll be searching the records so there will be multiple records okay so there should be a list of child components okay but in that case we'll be using only one child component and we will iterate that child component to uh, to display kind of a list kind of a result on the parent component okay so guys let's start today's video so guys for child component we will be using this uh, child component basic thing here okay so for that i have to just modify the data a little bit so let me just make it phone instead of company because we'll be getting the data from the contact and from the parent component let me make it phone so this is basically the old example so let me just deploy that also okay otherwise it will you know just messed up with the new component and parent component basic okay so these two are deployed we'll be using the same child component which we are having here but we need to create a new parent component now okay so let's name it uh, parent component with child child nesting attrition okay and it will be in the default directory of course so this is the parent component and let's take the component bundles first let's save it and let's take this as well okay and for javascript part we can customize it later all right guys so this is the parent component and let me change the name okay so now we'll be passing the accounts okay so we need to get the account first all right so what we'll do here we will just import the function here okay i think in my apex i'm having function the function name is find acc list so it will basically find list of account based on the keyword okay so the parameter name is keyword and let's go so let's name it find acc list from Salesforce Apex and account control find DC list. Great. Okay, so we'll be having uh, input there, and based on the text change, we'll be cutting the data. Okay, so we have to create a handle on chain event here. and let me just have it my my data here again okay so on handle on change first of all we have to get the search key so let's create a constant here search key event dot target dot value okay now we will call the uh, function here which is find acc list okay and we will pass the value which is search key okay and if it gets a value result is 
not empty then we will have the result okay and else part you can have error if you would like to have so to get the error you can have another variable here and let's make it undefined here then we'll create catch part if it returns error so we will have this dot error this error and this dot my data will be undefined okay all right what is wrong here Okay, I think I have closed this one. Okay, so this will be the handle on change. Now let's go to the HTML component and uh, where it is. Let me open it from here. Okay. Now, guys, in the HTML component, we will just have the text box and you know based on that text of the text box we will be displaying list of accounts so let's have it in this tab okay okay so the tag is closed now we will create a lightning input here all right and on change we will have let me just check the spelling and the case sensitivity okay in javascript you know it is better you just copy paste the function name and all other things because you know sometimes you just did a silly mistake by avoiding the case sensitivity and it is not going to throw any error but the code won't run and let's have the label so okay all right so the input is also ready now if the data will be returned then we have to display the data so we can modify this first you have to check if you are having any data in my data okay all right here you go and after that we will create a for each loop for each account my data for item let's say acc okay let's copy this template and paste it here okay missing key component yes i'm aware about it let me just sort it first so guys while creating the iteration you have to pass the key component okay so in this child component i will be passing the key here and the key will be id of account so i will pass acc dot id all right okay looks good to me now whenever we will type something here it will call the javascript and from the javascript where it is so from the javascript we are just cutting the data and we are returning to the 
my data and here we are having attrition of my data okay okay so looks good to me let's just deploy it let this deploy now let me just add it here okay parent component will child component nested and I'm parent with nesting okay now if I will search for account let's say if I press K here no it's not seems to be working let me check the console first maybe we could have some error in console okay it is not returning even an error here it might be due to the uh, name of the parameter which needs to be passed there so let's make it keyword and let's pass the keyword okay handle on change everything else in fine tuning deploy source log let me just refresh it yes it was due to the keyword so we are having the nesting now based on the parent component but still you know we can't see the data here so i think we need to modify something on the child component also because in child component it was displaying account name and phone number so let me just clear this and go all right guys so i have figured out the issue so the issue was uh, we were sending my data to the child component but in this case my data is a list and child child component is accepting a single object there okay so instead of sending my data we have to send the item there which is acc all right and guys also in the uh, javascript file i have added a condition here like if keyword is not null and keyword dot length is greater than zero because if you have noticed earlier if we are not entering any value uh, or if we are deleting all the values then still it was just showing list of records so i have added another condition here and then and in the else part i'm just uh, undefining the my data's value okay so let me just deploy the parent component again okay it is deployed now now let's test it okay let's search for the record now all right guys as you can see the nesting and the data transferring working as expected and let me just try by removing the name and let's see if the list is getting empty and the list is also getting empty so guys that's how you can just send a list of records on your child component and display each item by creating iteration on your child component okay so that's it for today guys i hope you like today's video i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching